Okay, now that we know a little bit about variables, we're going to actually use them for something. And we're going to make a variable statement out of four different variables. So to get started, we're going to need to start making our four variables. I'm going to start out with the first one, a string called my name. Now notice I'm not calling it name. It's my name because name and other variables may end up being reserved words in the JavaScript language or any language. So you have to be careful. If it seems like something really common, it might be a reserved word, and it's going to screw up your code if you start using those as your own variables. So you want to add something a little bit different to your variable naming scheme so you're not using up reserved words. Otherwise, you won't be able to set that variable at all. So we're going to use my name in this case. You, do, you can do whatever you want. Um, and we're going to set that to Adam because that is my name. And Adam's going to eat, or I'm going to eat something. And so we'll call uh, that one food type. And that food type is apples. And how many did I eat? Let's say number eaten is equal to three. That's way too many apples. For my taste, um, all at once, but uh, it's not all the apples. We'll say the total eaten, or the total or number total, let's call it number total, is equal to seven. So Adam ate three out of seven apples. Okay, so how do we put that together in one statement? We'll call this variable statement, or make sure that's not a reserved word, my statement, and we'll say my name eight, and notice I'm putting spaces around that because otherwise it's going to be, my name's going to be Adam eight. Um, eight, how many apples? Number eaten, and then we need another space there because then we're going to say food type, and then another space. Actually, we'll just make that a period, and we'll end that statement with a semicolon, and let's see what that looks like so far. That's not using all of our variables, but let's take a look at it and make sure it's working. I'm going to say alert my statement. Save it. Always save it before you open it up in your web browser, otherwise you will not get the best results. Adam ate three apples. Okay, so that what this is doing is it's saying, I want to alert my statement. What's my statement? It is my name eight, number eaten, food type, period. And that resolves to Adam ate three, space, apples, period. Okay, great. So that was easy. But now what else can we do? We have this other number, the total apples. Uh, we can use that for something. Rather than saying Adam ate three out of seven apples, that's kind of boring because then we're just doing the same thing. Let's do a little bit of math so we can see how that works. Um, instead of, instead of uh, leaving this alone, we're going to say Adam ate the number of eaten of food type and leaving how many apples? Well, we have to do some math to figure that out. We're going to put the math in parentheses and we're going to say number total minus number eaten. And then we're going to add to that statement leaving space food type plus left over space uh, period. So what we've done here is we've added to the statement saying Adam ate three apples comma leaving doing a little math to figure out how many apples are left over, in this case four, space, food type, apples, left over. That's kind of a redundant sentence, but that's okay. So I'm saving that, and we're going to reload it. And you can see Adam ate three apples, leaving four apples left over. And it did our little math here. So what, let's say that I got a whole bunch of more apples, just got a new stock of apples, and, and now I have... 35 apples, and I've just changed that. Now, this is where variables and programming starts to get interesting, because I've just changed this tiny little number, and this sentence is going to reflect that change. Adam ate three apples, leaving 32 apples left over. I can change this number to nine. I would never eat that many apples in a day, but 
Let's say it happened. I ate nine apples, leaving 26 apples left over. Say I decided to change my name to Rodrigo, and I decided to start eating pineapples instead, because I like those. Rodrigo ate nine pineapples, leaving 26 pineapples left over. And you can see how easy it is using variables to actually change your code to do different things without having to go in and retype all this stuff. And that's what makes programming really interesting and what makes your applications really fun. Now this is great if you just are changing stuff in, in the code yourself, but it really gets exciting when you start using functions and letting users input things. So we're going to get to that a little bit later, but for now, enjoy actually using variables for something productive.